Hey besties, welcome to Bestie Wednesday. Don't forget I post new content every week on Wednesday, so be sure you tune in. So for today's video, it's going to be a first of a series. And when I say series, I mean we are going to be going through this entire face where I break down each part of the face and the product you use for it. So today's video is going to be about, of course, the canvas. If you have watched any other of my videos, you know I refer to any part of your face as a canvas. And what I mean by that is you want to think about it as if you're a painter. A painter is not going to start off with a dirty canvas or rough or bumpy or anything like that. Well, your face is no exception. So for today's video, we are going to be shaving our face. Yes, you heard me right, shaving our face and getting it ready for any type of application, whether that be makeup, skincare, or you know, just to stay cute. So let's go ahead and jump into this video so that I can show you how I shave my face. Many of you right now may be thinking, is she crazy? No. So I've been shaving my face for about five plus years now and I started because as any human being or mammal on this planet, you know, we have hair. We all have little peach fuzz on our face and some people don't mind it, but me personally, I don't want any unwanted hair on my body. So to alleviate that, I have been shaving my face. So to start with, I don't really have anything on my face right now. I'm going to take my cotton round and I'm going to be putting the Tarte Micellar Water and using that to clean off any other bacteria on my face. Please make sure that your hands are sanitized before you do this because you are touching your face, so you don't wanna be adding any extra bacteria. So this is what it looks like after. I did have a little bit of concealer on my face. I had to run and do an errand before I started filming and I didn't wanna look like I was dead because these circles have me looking like I haven't slept in years, so. That is why it is this color. It's pretty much like you sanitizing your hands. Well, you're sanitizing your face by applying that micellar water, or you can use toner, whatever your skin prefers. My skin is pretty much sensitive, so I try to limit the amount of added chemicals, perfumes, and all that inside of them and applying it on my face. So the next step is going to be applying any type of serum or oil on your face that is going to make it easier to glide the razor around. It is the Farah Sally 24 karat gold rose elixir So I'm going to go ahead and take it straight from the bottle since our face is sanitized And I'm going to apply that to the skin and go ahead and rub it in with my fingers So now that that is rubbed in my skin, I look like a nice greased up Thanksgiving turkey, don't I? Sexy! So you want to put as much on your face as you need. I like it to kind of still be very oily. That way the razor glides along the skin very seamless and smoothly. I'm going to go ahead and wipe my hands off because that oil gets everywhere. Another reason that I like to apply the oil onto the skin before I start to shave it is because it helps to lessen the amount of pulling that the razor is going to be doing on your face. And being that this is on our face, the more you pull, the more sagging you're gonna get and wrinkles and lines and we don't want that, okay? No. So I went ahead and grabbed a razor. This is a clean razor. This is important. If you are gonna be shaving your face, do not use the same razor that you use for your eyebrows or for your little woman stash. You have to use a clean and new razor, okay? I believe I bought this in a pack of 60 on Amazon for $15, so that comes in handy. Do okay. not save it and use it again. Why? Because you're gonna have bacteria that is going to build up on the razor, and it's just gonna keep growing, growing, and growing. And then wherever you put that razor, whether it be your eyebrows, your woman's stash, or your face, it's gonna cause big problems and possible irritation and acne, and we wanna avoid that, okay? The point is to get nice, glowing skin. So I have my razor. I'm going to begin on these areas here on my sides. Growing up, I used to shave off my sideburns because they were so long and thick. And I've been doing that, but actually um, today I may keep them on. I don't know, let's see. I'm going to start here on the face and I'm just going to go down and downward strokes. And I'm going to use my other hand to sort of smooth out the skin. I'm not pulling it, I'm just 
lightly and gently pulling it down to make that area smooth so that the razor glides down seamlessly. You want to be sure to get those little hairs on your chinny chin chin. Of course, we want to get our woman sash. I don't know about you guys, but I have little peach fuzz right here on the outside of my eye. So I definitely make sure to get that. So far, there's like a little bit of hair coming off. You can't really see it. It is a little microscopic, but it is there. And for your razor strokes, it's always going to be going downward motions. Do not go up. That's going to be causing the skin cells in the skin to lift. When we're going in downward strokes, we are removing the outer layer of that skin, which is dead cells, of course. So as you can see, I have a little hair here. I'm just going to basically like go around it and take off the little hairs. That way it's a lot neater. Do you see how much hair came out of that little area? It's kind of like I'm giving myself a mini edge up right here. And yes, my skin is turning red just because I told you guys I have fairly sensitive skin. So any pressure or any type of touching will turn it red because of my rosacea. But it doesn't hurt. And the fact that we're going in one stroke in one direction is not really disrupting the skin. Now, when you are going in with the razor, it's going to be light handed. You want to think angel hands, okay? Very lightly delicate. So this area is now cleaned up. So this is the one I have already edged up and this one I have not. See how this one looks more cleaner, neater. This one just looks like a mess. So we're gonna go in and clean that up now. I'm just using my other hand to move the hair out of the way. So now both those areas are done. I'm going to move on to the forehead area. I'm going in downward strokes, being very careful not to take off any other hair. And when I get to this eyebrow area here, I'm going to use my finger here to like block it off and go in and shave around the eyebrow and this cleans it up. And I'm just going to go in downward strokes all along my forehead. So if any time during this process your skin becomes dry and there's not enough oil, just go back and reapply any oil that you need. We have already done this area here. I've done my sideburns. I did my woman stash. I did the little hairs on my chinny chin chin. I did my forehead. Now I'm just going to go over those areas one more time in case I miss any hair. And of course I'm moving a little faster because I'm used to doing this to my face and I'm used to my face shape. If you are new to this and it's your first time, take your time and go in small short strokes, okay? I don't need you getting hurt <laughs> and I don't want you cutting off any unwanted hair that you don't want to be gone you will see all the gunk that comes off of your skin. It's gross. But the good thing with shaving it is that we know we're getting it off and we're getting a whole new layer of skin after shaving. So I am now done using the razor. I'm going to put the top back on there and this is now going in the trash. I am not gonna save it and use it again because like I told you, you are gonna have bacteria growing on this and more than likely, the razor portion on here is going to start rusting. You do not want to put anything that is rusting on your face or that has bacteria. We want to stay clean and sanitized, remember. Going back in with a clean cotton round and the micellar water, I'm going to wipe my face and take off all that oil I just put on there and clean it. I'm just going to now let that dry. So now that our skin is nice, clean, it is so smooth, it feels like a baby skin. So at this point, you have already removed the outer layer of your skin, which is dead skin cells. So those are gonna come off either way. Shaving it just helps speed up the process. And of course, you get rid of the unwanted hair while you're doing it. So at this point, our skin is thirsty and we need to rehydrate it and nourish it, okay? This is the moisturizer I always talk about. It has my added SPF of 30. You always wanna be sure to have something with SPF in your skincare. So I'm just gonna be taking some of that and rubbing it on my face. Anything that has SPF in it, you wanna be very careful you don't get it in your eyes 
because it burns like crazy, okay? It hurts so much. So I just lightly go around the eyes when I'm doing this and make sure that it's nowhere near my eyes where it's going to get in it. So to rehydrate that lip area, I'm going in with the QMS Betty Cosmetics Lip Liner Corrector. So with this, I'm just going in and applying it all over the lip area and um, targeting my lips especially. So right after I use that lip serum, I'm going to go right in with my Vaseline Lip Therapy and I'm just going to apply this on the lips, that way they're not dry. I don't want you walking around here with some crust busted lips, okay? That's not cute. So you made it through the first video of the series on shaving our face. What do you think? Can you tell a difference from beginning? You probably can't, but I can, and I definitely will see it when I apply products onto my face. I will put a warning out though, if you do try it, just know that I am not a licensed esthetician, I am not a licensed dermatologist, so do this at your own risk, okay? And be sure that you are careful when you do it, especially because you're gonna be using a razor on your face. So some of you may be thinking, what's the difference between shaving your face and dermaplaning? Dermaplaning also uses a razor, to remove the dead skin cells or the top layer of your skin. That razor is more fine, it's more like a scalpel. And one, I do not suggest you do that at home. Two, you need to go or you should go to an expert in dermaplaning because it goes deeper into the skin. First, it's using a razor to shave your face. You can do it at home, one. Two, it's pretty cost effective because dermaplaning can be up to $150 and over to get done. And you know, with a razor at home, like I said, it's affordable, it's easy to do, and it's just as effective. Like This is not something new. It's still new to us here in America, but other people around the world do this and practice this sort of skincare technique for the same reasons that I'm telling you. Smoother skin, products apply better, you're removing the outer layer of your skin, which is those dead skin cells. So if you're using any type of cosmetics or beauty product, like skincare, um, any serums, any oils, a face mask, it's going to be able to penetrate your skin at a deeper level because we already removed that outer layer of skin. So I do invite you to try it. It does work and my skin is super smooth. I wish you guys could feel it. So as far as how long it lasts, it'll this will last me before I start seeing like my edges come back and I need a new edge up. Um, about two to three weeks, depending on how fast your hair grows. So I know that whenever I see my eyebrow hairs growing in under here, then I know it's time for me to go ahead and shave my face once again. Because if my hair is growing here, then I'm pretty sure it's growing here here, here, and here. And remember, this is one video of a series and there's more to come. So please be sure to stay tuned, subscribe down below so that you can get the inside scoop on each part of the face, the products to use for them, and how to apply them. See you guys on my next one.